Nearly 30,000 missionaries worldwide were called back to their home countries because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now in Fargo, they're finding new ways to continue to serve. Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie has our story. Missionaries like Emma Schmeichel spend a majority of their lives looking forward to serving in other countries. When the time finally came, the pandemic cut it short. All of a sudden, we're getting shipped out of the country. She was going to spend about a year and a half in Brazil. You prepare for a mission, you arrive in a country like Ghana or somewhere in the Caribbean, and then all of a sudden they say, time out. Honestly, it was hard. It was hard to get back home. Missionaries see the opportunities behind these challenges. I knew that I, I really wanted to go and finish out strong and I knew I'd go somewhere in America. Fargo is home now, but the goal remains the same, help others and share the gospel. And we were lucky to get Fargo. Even on this side of the globe, the pandemic continues to pose challenges. And our main purpose as missionaries is to uplift people and to bring joy to them and um, COVID kind of changed that for us. Churches were put on lockdown worldwide, leaving fellowship at a standstill. Allison Vanhoff says they're having to get creative to reach people. Turning to social media, these missionaries may get the chance to finish their mission overseas. But for now, they say there are plenty of people who have needs right here in this community. In Fargo, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. To learn more about the church and their mission, download the VNL News app.